so very good morning to all what what we study we are studying about uh, fusion dimension and the last last topic was uh, uh, dimensional dimensional formula okay whenever uh, we want to talk about dimension then it is the how we can define dimension these are the power raised to the fundamental units whenever power raised to the fundamental quantity whenever we want to represent any derived physical quantity like force okay let's see force is equal to into velocity into acceleration and how we can define acceleration it is length divided by time square so it is mass raised to power 1 length raised to power also 1 and time raised to power minus 2 so 1 1 and minus 2 are the dimension of force so power raised to the fundamental quantity are called its dimension what is meaning of dimension dimension of any physical quantity our power raised to fundamental quantity fundamental physical quantity for representation of any other type of point so one in mass how we can write dimension one in mass one in mass one in length but minus 2 in time okay so these are these are the dimension of force and what about dimensional formula if we talk about dimensional formula dimensional formula how we can define dimension formula dimension formula whenever we want to represent whenever we want to represent any physical quantity using their symbols okay with the dimension okay <laughs> representation of representation of any physical quantity using their symbols okay with their dimensions with their dimension okay there are so many type of physical quantity right now you are not able to remember all those type of physical quantities like i can be very easily uh, talk about resistance i can very easily talk about electric field current uh, potential okay current density heat i can very easily talk but for you you have to it is very typical for you to understand to remember you can understand so right now only you have to understand the concept okay gradually you will automatically learn you can automatically learn all the formulas so how how we have to find who is this red am i okay so how to find how to find dimensional formula of any physical quantity any physical constant okay and what are the importance of that dimensional formula okay only just right now you have to understand this type of point no need to remember all this physical quantity only just you have to understand okay like resistance right now you can not able to learn dimension formula of all these physical quantities but gradually automatically what happened whenever i talk about any any uh, numerical any question that has come in jee so in that question so many type of formula used which are related to dimension analysis okay when i just going to solve a uh, a numerical a question which is which is has has come in uh, 
2020, J 2020. So it may be possible you are not able to understand, you are not able to learn. You can understand, but you are not able to learn right now because these formulas are all taken from total physics. It is not game of one day. This is pure physics. Sare physics se concept you will use. Okay. So, agar me koi aapko formula bata na, let us uh, energy density, let us resistance, let us capacitor. Okay. Charge, current density, Planck constant, gravitational constant, epsilon naught, permittivity, permeability. So many type of constant are there. Mobility, current density, conductance, conductivity, resistivity. So many types of physical constant, physical parameters are available. So in one day, in two day, or in two these months, starting in the starting of 11, you, you are not able to learn all these type of formulas. Gradually, automatically you will understand, you will learn all these formulas. So no worry about it. Now, <clears throat> Dimensional formula, it is representation of any physical quantity. So, if you have to the formula, if you have to do the formula, if you have to do the formula, if you have to do the formula, if you formula, if you have to do the how we can understand capacitor? If you have capacitor, you have to do capacitor ka formula. Bata di. How I can understand? Okay, you have to just understand, no need to learn. Just understand how I am getting dimension formula from formula of any physical quantity. Just have to understand. Okay. No need to remember all this. Gradually, automatically, I am just, you have to just understand the concept. The concept of dimensional analysis. Only understand concept of dimension. Gradually, you will understand all the concepts. Okay. So, no need to remember. Only just try to remember. Okay. So, what is dimension formula? Dimension formula, representation of any physical quantity using their symbol and their dimension, like force. Force having dimension formula M L T minus 2. This is dimension formula for force, like energy. M L 2 T minus 2. Like power. Energy per unit time. So it will be ML2 T minus 2. Okay. It is measured in newton. New, newton. So minus is, 3. T minus 3. Yes, it is minus 3. Yes. <clears throat> so Newton to measure energy, we can use joule. These are SI unit and power watt. What is meaning of what one what when one joule of work we have to do in one second so please write it down it is just recapitulation of yesterday class okay <clears throat> now today we will talk about application application of dimensional formula application of dimensional analysis okay before dimensional analysis, application of dimensional analysis, what we have to take? We have to take one law. It is called law of homogeneity of dimensional formula. Okay. So, first, just write it down. Law of homogeneity. Law of homogeneity. Of dimension. Okay, law of homogeneity of dimension. What this law is saying? It is saying that you can add, subtract, okay, and equalize. You can add, subtract, and equalize only those type of physical quantity which have similar, which have same dimension. Okay, we can we can add. Subtract. We can add, <laughs> subtract.
we can add subtract and equalize equalize only those physical quantity which are having same dimensional formula okay so only addition subtraction and equalization we can multiply we can divide but we cannot add subtract and equalize we cannot equate two physical quantity which having different dimension form like if i am talking about an example speed okay so speed is equal to distance upon time so both side should have same dimension formula what about speed speed having dimension formula l so this is okay so is to having dimension formula l t minus 1 this is lhs okay and rhs distance l by time so t minus 1 both side should have same dimension formula okay is this clear yes sir yes sir okay <clears throat> so now if i am talking about this equation s is equal to ut plus half at square okay so each term if we are adding ut and half at square then dimension formula of ut and half at square should be equal to s then only we can derive we can use this formula this is the consistency of this physical relation okay this is consistency only only valid if dimension formula of this quantity and dimension formula of this quantity should be equal like ut this is for term first term this is second term this is third term so if for first term distance so it is l for second term ut so what about u it is l t minus 1 and what about t it is t so it is again l what about third term it is second term and third term it is half at square so half having no dimension constant it is a constant so half having no dimension a t square so a is m l sorry l t minus 2 this is dimension formula for acceleration and t square so it is again t square will be cancel out t raised to power minus 1 so again all these term having same dimension only they can uh, only that can we can say that this formula is exists so it is the law of homogeneity of dimension okay we can accept it only those yes there were many problem sir can you please repeat this example yes yes and uh, one student is continuously unmuting his uh, mic it's dharmil if uh, dharmil don't unmute okay so this is s is equal to ut plus half at square okay this formula exists only when 
the dimension of each term dimension of each term are equal okay then only this formula can valid so that the, this is the application the homogeneity homogeneity of dimensional analysis is application is a application of dimension analysis what is the application is that you can check correctness of any relation you can check correctness of any relation like that if i am talking about t is equal to root l by g this is the time period of simple pendulum time period of simple pendulum okay so this formula only valid when dimension of both side will be equal okay so just check i am talking about lh lh is having time so dimension formula is t and rh is just talk about rh is so it is root l by g it is length and it is gravitational acceleration and what is dimension formula for gravitational acceleration uh, acceleration lt minus 2 so just write down what is l l having dimension formula l and g having dimension formula l t minus 2 root so l will be cancel out l will be cancel cancel out from numerator and denominator and what we are getting finally we are getting t raised to power 2 okay because this t raised to power minus 2 in numerator so in denominator will come into numerator and become t raised to power plus 2 okay so t raised to power plus 2 and root will be cancel out this t raised to power plus 2 so it will be t so rhs is also t now you can say that it formula is valid this formula is valid so this is the concept of homogeneity of dimensional analysis okay you can add subtract equalize only those type of physical quantity having same dimension formula this concept is very important to understand all application of dimension analysis please note it down any doubt you can ask so yes yes ganesh what is your doubt so can you explain this that s equals to ut plus half ut square again Yes, yes. Why not? So, s is equal to u t plus half t square. It is the equation, second equation of motion when acceleration is constant for uniform acceleration. S is equal to u t plus half t square. It is uh, well known for us. So, if you want to check existence of these, so dimension of each term, dimension of each term should be equal. I am talking about s. So, s distance having dimension l, you know very well. What is distance uh, dimension of u? U having dimension l t minus one. Its speed having dimension l t minus one. And what about time? What about this t having dimension t? This is the representation of dimension. Always you have to use square bracket. So l t minus one into t, t and t minus one will be cancelled out, and finally we are getting l. Same as it is for last term, third term, a t, a t square. Dimension formula for a is equal to l t minus two. To use this concept, you have to first remember all the dimension formula of each physical quantity. Then only you can use. You have to idea about a. What is dimension formula of a? A having dimension formula l t minus two and t square will be t square. Okay, dimension formula for time is t, and here it is t square. So t square. T square and T raised to power minus two will be cancelled out, and we are getting L. So all these T term having same dimension formula. That's why we can say that this equation is correct. Okay. So this is the homogeneity of dimension analysis. Same as it is if a uh, if we talk about the dimension, uh, if we talk about the time period of simple pendulum, if you want to check the correctness of this this relation T is equal to root L by G. So T having dimension formula LHS should be equal to LHS. RHS dimension formula for T should be equal to 
dimension formula of root l by g now what is dimension formula for l l having dimension formula l g having dimension formula it is acceleration due to gravity so acceleration having dimension formula l t minus 2 already we have covered so l will be cancel out and g c in denominator will come into the numerator and become t square so root t into t uh, root t of t square will be t so lhs is equal to rhs dimension formula for lhs is equal to dimension formula for rhs then we can say that this is correct equation okay this relation this formula is correct so it is the best application it is best application of dimension analysis is that we can check correctness of any physical relation whatever formula you are using you can check correctness okay please note it down any doubt now ganesh no sir okay <clears throat> these all concept are very important okay these are basic concept which will help us to uh, to understand all the applications so now we are talking about applications of dimension analysis okay applications of dimension analysis applications of dimensional analysis whenever you are you are using concept of dimensional dimensional formula so yes mohit aur aapne jo upar likha hai wo visible nahi hai yes 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 i know i know just wait okay sir i think now it is visible yes sir okay okay sir okay <clears throat> okay now application of dimension analysis first application first write down all applications then we will take one by one okay first application to find first application is to find unit and dimension of derived physical quantity or derived physical quantity this is the first application we can find dimensional unit of any physical quantity using dimensional analysis if you have any idea about dimensional formula of any physical quantity you can find its unit okay second application is to find unit of unit of any physical constant any physical constant in science and physics we are having so many types of physical constant like gravitational constant like ideal gas equation constant like epsilon not permittivity of free space like mu not permittivity of <coughs> permeability of free space mu not permeability of free space like uh, h planck constant okay so we are having so many types of physical constant and we can find unit of that type of physical constant constant by using dimensional formula okay third application is to convert one system of unit to convert system of unit okay like if you want to convert 
Newton into CGS system. Newton is SI. Okay. So in CGS it is dyne. So how we can convert? How we can find 10 raised to power 5? If you want to convert joule into arg, how you can convert? If you want to convert G, G is equal to 6.67 into 10 raised to power minus 11. Now this quantity you have to convert into CGS. And how we can convert? Okay. These are all the applications of dimension analysis. We can convert system of units. And fourth is to check to check correctness of any physical relation. Okay, to check correctness of any physical relation. Some example already we have covered of these application and fifth it is research tool research tool to find to find new physical relation to find new physical relation new formula Okay, so these are some application of dimension analysis. First application is to find unit and dimension of any derived quantity. This is already we have covered. First application is to find to find unit and dimension. of any physical quantity okay so you know very well force force having dimension formula ml t minus 2 so you can write m for kg and l it is meter and t so second is to power minus two. So this is unit of Newton. And it is equal to, it is equal, sorry, it is unit of, it is unit of force that is equal to one Newton. It is equal to one Newton. Newton is SI unit. Same as it is energy. Same as it is energy. Having dimensional, dimension formula ML2 T minus two. Energy dimension formula again ML2 T minus 2. This dimension formula always you have to remember these two. Very beneficial to remember these two. So many times it will come. Okay. So M M kg L meter square T second is to power minus 2. That is equal to 1 joule. Okay, it is equal to one joule. Same as it is power. Power is m l two t minus two. अभी आप अपने देखा थोड़ी देर पहले. और किसी ने कहा था कि ten raised to power minus three आएगा. It is ten raised to power. You are writing ten raised to power minus two. Okay, just note it down. Any doubt you can ask. So power should have unit kg, meter is square, second raised to power minus 3. It is equal to what? It is equal to what? Please note it down. All concept you have to note down very clearly, and you can use some colorful pen, not in board examination, only for making your notes. Because you know very well, humko, our writing, sense, sab kuch acha samajh na aata. 
आप किसी के भी अच्छे नोट्स ले लो ठीक है दिस कॉन्सेप्ट एवरीबडी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई एम ट्राई टू से ओके आप कभी भी देखेंगे अभी तक टेंथ क्लास तक आपने पढ़ा है हमने क्या देखा कि हम हमारी कॉपी से ही अच्छे से पढ़ पाते हैं ओके किसी के नोट्स से इतने अच्छे से याद नहीं रख पाते तो वन पॉइंट यू हैव टू ऑलवेज डू इज दैट मेक प्रॉपर नोट्स ओके और एक बात मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ जो नोट्स फिजिक्स के मैं यू वेल टू ग्रेजुअली सी धीरे 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 आप देखेंगे वट आपके पास फिजिक्स का जो कंटेंट है वो बहुत ज्यादा होगा ओके okay. एक एक सिंपल सिंपल फॉर्मूला सिंपल सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट में बोर्ड पे लिख दो ओके okay. हो सकता है कि जो फॉर्मूला अभी थोड़ा सा डिले बताया पर फॉर्मूला सारे कवर करो okay. सारे फॉर्मूला एक एक सिंपल सिंपल ऑल फॉर्मूला आई विल एक्सप्लेन एंड आई विल राइट ऑन दी बोर्ड ओके यू हैव टू जस्ट नोट डाउन ओके ऑटोमेटिकली यू विल सी योर नोट प्रॉपर नोट ऑटोमेटिकली बिल्डअप ओके सो नो नीड टू वरी अबाउट ओनली यू हैव टू राइट फॉर रिविजन बिकॉज इन ऑल टाइप ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन लाइक If you want to do preparation for J, for NEET, for board, revision is must compulsory. Most important on, uh, thing is that revision. Pra- practice is different thing. जैसे मैं अभी आपको one dimension ये dimension वाली चीज पढ़ा रहा हूँ. तो practice करते जाएँ. मैंने आपको एक practice चीज दिया. You are solving it. It is practice. But revision is different. So it is. टोटल प्रिपरेशन इज डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री कैटेगरी फर्स्ट बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट आपको कवर करना प्रैक्टिस के लिए मैं आपको डीपीपी दूंगा ठीक है जैसे मैंने आपको अभी डिफ्रेंशिएशन का एक डीपीपी दिया इंटीग्रेशन का डीपीपी अभी बचा हुआ ओके पर आपको एकदम से लोड नहीं आए क्योंकि डिफ्रेंशिएशन इंटीग्रेशन ये सारे ऐसे कॉन्सेप्ट हैं जिनको आप कितना इजीली नहीं समझ सकते तो मैं धीरे धीरे होले होले दे रहा हूँ अभी करने दो बच्चों को आराम से तो आपको डीपीपी मिल जाए ठीक है तो आप उसको सॉल्व करो वॉट एवर डाउट इन द डी पी पी यू कैन आस वन क्लास टोटल पूरा क्लास अपन केवल रखेंगे डाउट सॉल्विंग क्लास ओके और मैक्सिमम डाउट तो मैं आपको व्हाट्सएप पे क्लियर कर दूँगा ठीक है और अगर मुझको आप व्हाट्सएप पे सेंड करो तो दिस इज माय डाउट आई एम नॉट गेटिंग दिस साइन स्क्वायर हाउ वी कैन डिफरेंशिएट सम वन स्टूडेंट हाउ वी कैन डिफरेंशिएट साइन स्क्वायर थीटा सो हाउ टू साइन थीटा इनटू cos थीटा एंड साइन टू थीटा कैसे आया मुझको दिमाग में और इसमें मैंने चार बार ये बात बोल दी थी आप जब आपके डाउट मुझको भेजेंगे तो उस टाइम तो भले ही आपको जवाब नहीं दिया या क्लास में नहीं समझा रहा हूँ बट इट इज डेफिनेटली आपका वो डाउट क्लियर हो जाए क्योंकि इतनी बार मेरे दिमाग में आएगा और मैं क्लास में कंटिन्यू कहीं कही ना कहीं बोल दूँ ओके तो डाउट्स आपको क्लियर करना है लास्ट इज रिविजन दो बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट मैं आपके क्लियर करवा दूंगा प्रैक्टिस में आपकी करवा दूंगा पर लास्ट रिविजन तो रिविजन के लिए हमेशा मैं आपके साथ में नहीं रहा रिविजन आपको खुद को करना है जैसे मैंने अगर टेस्ट लिया है है ना एक वन डायमेंशन ये यूनिट एंड डायमेंशन कंप्लीट हुआ उसके बाद मैंने आपका टेस्ट लिया तो आपको क्या करना है रिवीजन करना पड़ेगा तो वहाँ पर मैं आपके साथ थोड़ी नहीं देता हूँ वहाँ खुद को करना कैसे करो बाय प्रॉपर नोट और अलग अलग क्लास के अलग अलग जगह के दस नोट्स बनाने से एक अच्छे सॉलिड नोट बना वही आपकी हेल्प करें ओके ये अभी से आपको मैं बेस प्रिपेयर करवा रहा ठीक है and in the end of 12th examination you will get it is very easy to remember all this concept of physics chemistry and mathematics and bio agar note acche se rakhe proper agar aap chale theek hai and it is very easy to crack to get good marks in je neet and je advanced also bahut easy hota hai bas proper direction proper guidance or proper hard work okay smart work plus hard work Sufficient, okay. So, power. What now?
I am cleaning the board. <clears throat> ओके समझते गणेश समझ में आया आपको गणेश मोहित ओके चलो और ज्यादा इधर उधर सोचने की जरूरत भी नहीं है मैं इतना सफिशियंट आपको पढ़ा दूंगा आपको कहीं पर कहीं नोट्स की जरूरत ही नहीं पड़ेगी सफिशियंट नोट्स रहे ओके तो अभी इसी एक एक जो मैंने आपको भी ये एप्लीकेशन बताया इसी में बहुत सारी चीज बताऊंगा देखो एक क्वेश्चन आया था एनर्जी डेंसिटी एनर्जी डेंसिटी ओके सो व्हाट इज एनर्जी डेंसिटी एनर्जी पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम एनर्जी डिवाइडेड बाय वॉल्यूम ओके व्हाट इज एनर्जी डेंसिटी So energy having dimension formula m l two t minus two and volume l cube length into length into length so l cube so it is m l minus one t minus two are you getting l square divided by l cube will be l raised to power minus one m is it is t raised to power minus two l so this is dimension formula for Dimension formula for energy density, and you can write it kg meter to power minus one second to power minus one. That is equal to joule per meter cube. Joule per meter cube. You can write it like this: joule per meter cube. Now, like electric field, just listen me. <coughs> electric field so electric field e is equal to e vector is equal to s vector by c and you know, charge uh, force on unit unit positive stress charge so newton per coulomb again newton per coulomb this is the unit okay and dimensional formula is m l t minus 2 for newton and it so it is m L T minus three A minus one. So you have to just understand how we can find dimensional formula of any physical quantity. Okay, because it is very important in other other application to derive some physical relation. Okay, now magnetic field. This is new for you. Magnetic field. Okay, magnetic field. You know very well what is meaning of magnetic field B. Okay, to find dimension formula and unit of magnetic field, dimension formula and unit of magnetic field, what you have to use, you have to use one formula, which is F is equal to A is equal to Q V B. It is magnetic force on moving charged particle, and a charged particle which is moving perpendicular magnetic field with velocity U V, having charge Q, then force is equal to Q V B. Force is equal to Q V B. Now we can find B. B is equal to F by Q V. Okay. So you have to just understand, not necessary to remember. Okay. Understand what I am doing. B is equal to F by Q V. Now dimension formula for F it is m l t minus two divided by Q. It is a t. And dimension formula for velocity is L T minus one. Okay. बहुत सारे के dimension formula भी आपको याद होंगे जिससे velocity L T minus one or m L T minus two charge A T. Okay. Now you have to solve only these terms. 
So what we are getting M, L, L will be cancelled out. Okay, T and this T minus one will be cancelled out. So T minus two and A minus one. This is the dimension formula for magnetic. Okay, और अगर dimension formula आप याद रख पाते हैं, it is very very helpful for you. M T raised to power minus two, A raised to power minus one. Okay, and A unit will be what is unit? Unit can be written as kg second raised to power minus two and ampere raised to power minus one. It is equal to Tesla. It is equal to Tesla. What is unit of magnetic field? SI unit is Tesla. Tesla or Weber per meter square. SI unit is Tesla or Weber per meter square. One Tesla is equal to one Weber per meter square. Okay, Tesla or Weber per meter square. Okay. <clears throat> Please note it down. Yes, Pinkesh, any doubt? Yes, sir. Yes, what is doubt, beta? Sir, in electric field and dimension formula. Electric cell. Electric field. Electric field having dimension formula. Yes, yes. Sir, you have wrote M T uh, M L T minus two upon A T. Yes. So and below that M L T. Minus three, you have wrote. Sir, it should come minus one, na? आप जो बोल रहे हैं सही बोल रहे हैं एक बार सोच लो. Just, just think about it. What you are saying? You are saying that ten raised to power t raised to power minus two divided by t is equal to t raised to power minus one. It is t raised to power minus two. That t will come to the numerator and become t raised to power minus one. And t raised to the power minus one and t raised to the power minus two will become t raised to the power minus three. Very simple. Okay, sir. No worry about it. There is still will be a single thing. Don't worry. So this concept, magnetic field, M L T minus two A minus one. Okay. Magnetic field का dimension formula is very 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 important. You have to remember. Please remember it. Okay, it will very very beneficial for you. Now, okay. What about current density? If we talk about current density, current density. Okay, it is J. Is equal to I by A. Current passing through unit area is called current density. So unit will be. If we talk about the unit, what will be unit? Unit will be ampere per meter square. And dimension formula A L minus two. This is the dimension formula A L minus. Very simple. Ampere per meter square. A L T minus two. Okay. Potential we already have seen dimension formula for electric potential resistance. Now what about capacitor? Just listen, capacitance. Capacitance. What is meaning of capacitance? It is property of a device which is called capacitor, which can store electric charge. Whenever V volt applied across any capacitor, then Q amount of charge is stored. So, this is symbol of capacitor. You can use symbol like that. And we are applying V volt potential difference. V volt potential difference. Okay, and it is its parameter is C, capacitor. Okay, this device is called capacitor. In electrical network, in electrical all type of electrical network, uh, we we can use. We have used only three type of three type of equipment. First is resistance, second is capacitor, and last is inductor. 
all electrical equipment which are using in our house which are using in our industry are combination of only this type of physical physical instrument physical uh, device for this register so you are using conductor so this type of conductor having some resistance uh, resistance so it is called resistor you are using capacitor you can see a, a cylindrical box always connected with your fan it is capacitor okay and inductor what is meaning of inductor electromagnet okay fan is running on the concept of inductor okay because you are using winding in fan in any type of electric motor you are using winding and that winding when current is flowing it is behave like electromagnet it is simple already you have covered in your 10th class what is meaning of electromagnet whenever current we wound number of turns of conductor around any core like iron core like ceramic core then it behave like electromagnet okay so this concept we are using because uh, you can see whenever you pulse uh, you open your uh, fan you can see so many winding in there okay ऐसे वाइंडिंग दिखती है ना आयरन कॉपर वाइक वायर का एनी मोटर तो इस सब में मोटर किसी इलेक्ट्रिकल शॉप के यहां जा वाले के यहां जाके देखना इलेक्ट्रिक इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर आप देखेंगे कॉपर वायर ओके तो वो कैपेसिटर सो दिस कैपेसिटर इफ वी आर कंसीडरिंग दैट क्यू अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज इज स्टोर्ड इन कैपेसिटर इज इक्वल टू क्यू टू इक्वल टू सी दिस इज फार्मूला फॉर कैपेसिटर ओके एंड सी we can write c is equal to q by v and what is v v is electric potential what is v v is electric potential and what is dimension formula for v first it can be write as unit is coulomb per volt okay and what is coulomb per volt it is 1 farad okay फेराडे का फेराड वन फेराड ओके तो यूनिट ऑफ यूनिट ऑफ कैपेसिटेंस इज फेराड यू कैन सी और फैन के ऊपर जो व्हाइट कलर का बॉक्स लगा उसके ऊपर देखना फेराड लिखा होगा ओके टू फिफ्टी फेराड माइक्रो फेराड लाइक दैट सो सी नाउ वी कैन फाइंड डायमेंशन फॉर्मूला सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू फाइंड डायमेंशन फॉर्मूला ऑफ वर्ल्ड ठीक है सो हियर वी आर टेकिंग डायमेंशन फॉर्मूला फॉर वर्ल्ड volt v is equal to w by q so v w having dimension formula m 2 ml to t minus 2 and is 80 <coughs> so m l 2 t minus 3 a minus 1 this dimension formula for volt okay so now dimensional formula for <coughs> capacitance what is dimension formula for capacitance it is q q is m sorry q is 80 and volt yes they mute yourself okay and v v is this m L two T minus three A minus one. Okay. So after solving, what we are getting M minus one. M minus one. L minus two. T plus four. T raised to power plus four, and A raised to power two. Just check it out. It may be possible. I have. Done some mistake, so it's your responsibility to take it out. Yes, my dear master. Any doubt? Sir, can you please repeat the definition of capacitance? Okay, capacitance. Capacitor is a is an electrical device which can store electric charge, or which can store energy in form of electric field. It is it is a it is an electrical device. Okay. Which we are using to store some energy in form of electric field, to store some electric charge, static charge it can store. 
okay so it is very very important you you can see uh, in our uh, electronics if you are talking that uh, one gb one gb data you are storing in a in a micro card okay so what is meaning of one gb you know one bit one and zero one zero one zero one all the data is stored in form of bit like one zero and zero so if you want to store the one bit if you want to store one so you have to use one capacitor okay one capacitor you you can understand one capacitor if this capacitor is charged if this capacitor is charged then we are saying that one and if this this capacitor is discharged then it is zero so one zero one zero five volt zero volt five volt zero volt five volt zero okay this is basic concept if you want to store eight bits eight bits equal to one byte eight bits equal to one byte so you have to use eight capacitor in parallel eight capacitors in parallel so let us consider you want to store one one zero zero one 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 like that so if you want to store one first capacitor is charged if you want to store zero second capacitor is discharged so you can you can store bits in capacitor so eight bits equal to equal to one byte and one zero two four two raised to power ten bytes equal to one megabyte and two raised to power ten is equal to one zero two four megabyte is equal to one gb so you can understand how many capacitor are working in one gb micro that much small card one gb and we are using tv right now we are using so many uh, micro chip micro cards okay in our in our mobile you can see it is very simple uh, it is very small small memory card or a small integrated circuit a small ic is there and it can store 128 gb data so what what amount of capacitor are working in in that 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 small ic you have to just calculate so these all concept is the concept of capacitor any doubt no sir okay so capacitor is electrical device which can store charge electric charge okay so c is equal to q is equal to cv this is simple formula if you are applying v volt v volt across this capacitor it can store q amount of charge which is equal to cv okay so c is equal to q by v and q is uh, you, uh, what will be unit q measured in coulomb and v volt so coulomb per volt is equal to farad okay farad we go for the order of electricity whatever electricity we are using is is only due to the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction whatever electricity which are which are using right now so faraday farad on behalf of faraday okay so now it is clear for everybody now second application but time has finished it is very difficult for teacher who is taking first lecture it is sabse last wala lecture acha raha hai kyun kyunki usme teacher ko kam se kam 5 minute aage mil jata no worry about it okay so only 4 uh, minute has left so no need to go further any doubt from your side you can ask you can uh, talk to me if you want to understand if you want to okay no student want to ask me okay no worry about it bye bye have a nice day bye sir thank you sir bye sir bye sir thank you sir bye have a better have a nice day bye to study to sir stay at home stay safe okay bye 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 sir